But it wasn't just trade that lifted investor sentiment, but stronger than expected earnings as well. Take Coke. The Dow component raised its revenue forecast thanks to strong sales of its namesake soda. And the stock got a jolt, rising 6%, making it the best performing stock on the blue chip index. Sarah Eisen digs into Coke's quarter. Coca-Cola surprised Wall Street with more growth today. Some highlights from the quarter, 6% organic revenue growth. That was the strongest it's been in a while, and it was built on a healthy mix of higher volumes and higher pricing. Coca-Cola saw strength around the world, especially in emerging markets and in Asia. What's driving it? Well, Coke is saying that it's been doing better marketing, like the new promo with Stranger Things and its new Coke, and also new innovations like just released Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla, which led the charge. James Quincy says it's part of a long-term story toward better growth for the company. I think it's a sign that the transformation of our business to being more consumer-centric, more innovation and, and marketing-led, and being faster and more nimble with our bottling partners on executing. Coke Zero Sugar continues to grow double digits for the seventh quarter in a row. It's some Diet Coke consumers coming over. Some of the people are going from Coke uh, as they want to uh, balance things out. They maybe have a Coke, a Coke Classic and a Coke Zero Sugar, so coming from Coke and then coming in from other categories. Other new innovations, Costa Coffee Ready to Drink, a new coffee drink which Coke says is 30% less sugar and is doing well in the UK. They've also launched a new energy drink called Coke Energy and Coke with coffee. And innovation is a big part of the new growth story at Coca-Cola and rival Pepsi. Pepsi, you've seen it play out in the snacks division with Frito-Lay. But both companies do have new energetic CEOs that are driving faster change and also increased marketing spending, which is leading to better results in the market and in the company's performance. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sarah Eisen.